Well, today it is um, <clears throat> January 24th, 2015. I got the radio too loud again. I always do that. Stinking basketball games. Okay, anyways, so I got my A John Deere in here today. I got my wagon out last night. I got the uh, decals finished on it. And you're going, now, Farmall Man, why the heck you got that A in there again? Well, I had a slight issue with the A. I uh, had to tear this little bugger apart. I went to start the tractor today, or the other day, and I didn't have any fire. It would not do anything. So I tore that little bag boy apart, and come to find this beautiful little outfit. My rotor is busted. Snapped clean off. So, found that and the piece that sits in the bottom and then the uh, piece of the rotor here all in the bottom of the uh, cover. And then the cover was dirty, so I took after it with the sanding wheel. Oh, not really the sanding wheel, just a, a nice little, not even a file either. Just a wire, a fine wire brush. I think it was like a brass brush to, brass, to shine up the points right there and shine up the spring and the point down there. And So, yeah. I uh, cannot believe this, that this blasted little bugger took a poo on me and uh, that's where I sit with that. Kind of a disappointing little outfit. But uh, so yeah, brought the A in and first thing I did of course was clean up the spark plugs and pulled the bar off here, cleaned up my spark plugs and checked all that stuff out. and. Did that, and then I figured, well, what if I'm not getting sparks? So I tore that open, and sure is enough, there's no, there was no, uh, that uh, piece was broke. The good thing was, though, I had my dad turn it over, and right down here in the points, if I can see it, if it'll focus, focus. Anyways, it had a good snap of blue electricity down there, so I know the mag isn't the problem. Uh, this is a... This is just a, uh, let's see, what is it? Focus. That's a Witco, a Witco Model X. Is what it is. So, and I've been working on it. Oh, focus, okay. I, uh, I had to take the steering wheel off. I took the hood off, because I wanted to check some stuff on the inside, on the underside here. Took the hood off, and I just put it back on. Because it just really, there wasn't anything under there that needed, that was, that had a problem. I just uh, just wanted to check everything over and make sure all my uh, parts under here were good. So did that, and then I pulled off the uh, exhaust pipe that runs from here up underneath the hood to about, about right there. It sits inside the the exhaust there. I don't know why, but I bought the thing and the paint all flaked off. Really kind of ticked me off because I wanted it all black. If there's any suggestions on how to make that sucker black again, I would really appreciate it. Anyways, so, pulled that off. Here it is. And I figured I was getting lots, because when I, when I had it sitting in the tractor, this is the part I could see. I thought, oh, you know, that's not too bad. It, 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 it has a hole there, and, you know, it's not too bad. But then I uh, flipped it over. And yeah, so, I got a new one on the way um i just ordered it so i got that on the way i got a new cover and a new rotor all on the way so hopefully the old a will run good yeah see it's also got holes right there too so that's really impressive to me and it's trued up up here and i the, the reason i know why when i pulled this tractor apart this here was had 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 water in the manifold. Now, when I because when I first when I first got the tractor, it had sat outside, no muffler, and uh, the bottom of the oil pan was rusted off in here. The pan was this was all rusted off in the bottom. This had a hole down here. I had that fixed. This was full of pinholes up here. Had that fixed. That pipe down there was full of holes. So I. Uh, as you've seen in other videos, I just uh, put a rubber hose in there, thank God, and I put one up here too, 
because it uh, was kind of cruddy up there. So yeah, that's kind of what we're working on right now. I'm just uh, dangling around with it. Got it uh, sitting in here. Gonna, oh, I'm gonna turn my wheel back. I gotta put my steering wheel back on because that's the way I take it off. When I take it off, when I take off the hood, I take the steering wheel off, pull the shaft through the through the front there, and then I lift the hood off. The bolt, the hood's only bolted right here. I got it bolted here, and then it's connected to the plate where the battery sits battery sits on my uh, battery actually actually I got to get the light the rest of the lights in but I have a little um I have a switch set in here work for my lights that sits to the dash so I can see my dash uh, that's the only thing that the battery actually oh that and the starter are the only two things that the battery is actually hooked up to I got to wire the wire get me a generator or an alternator in here and wire it in but I I still believe I'm gonna keep the uh, magneto in there just because the magneto is just as easy, just as simple, you know. Um, but I had a I had another question about the A here underneath the in this cover. Uh, see, it sits like so. Why is there a hole right? Focus. Why is there a hole right there? Is that for a ground, or is that just a drain condensation? I think it's maybe to drain condensation because you got some of these the mags that have the um well, it's right here on the side but there's the button on the side here to, to ground it out i wish there's kind of a way for me to do that instead of have to shut the gas off every time and just let it run empty because it's kind of a waste of gas um unless i'm letting it cool down and then i just cut it off and let it but um no i did that stuff and and i uh fasten that that sucker was loose so the genius i am there i'll go around to the other side i take all the bolts out on that thing on the on the uh cover on the gear shifter which uh stupid stupid me didn't think of blasted ladder didn't think of the uh of the uh entire uh, uh gear selecting shift uh, gear selector stick coming out well, that bugger came out, the whole bugger come out. It was this piece, and then there was another piece between the two plates is there. So word of advice, if you're going if you don't have to take that apart, don't do it. I guess it is easy to get in and out, but getting your hand, you can't get a hand in there to get get your bolts. You can't hardly get your hands in there, and down here it's yeah, so I guess if I would suggest it, don't do it, but uh hey, that's my two cents. Holy blasted, it's raining outside. It's January and it's raining in South Dakota. Whoa, there's something wrong. Oh, uh, anyways. So, I got that stuff. Uh, my gas line on-off switch. The choke. My um, choke, le choke cable lever. My uh, throttle. A uh, radio bracket so I can mount my radio, my 12-volt radio on here and listen to the radio. I got all my all my gauges installed here. Then you flip the switch, and it actually helps to see the see everything. The nice thing I I, I like is I got all these. Uh, the gauges are all all John Deere's. They're all the original John Deere's. They cost me a little bit more, but they they're original, and I, I really like that. Um, the only things I need now for this tractor to complete it is the st the steel that goes across here, which I'm trying to look to see if I can find some steel on a. Uh, in a scrapyard or something for this or come across them at a tra antique show because the uh, new ones are expensive and I kind of don't want to really put that much into it that and I want to find the light the light brackets the L frame bracket that goes here and then there's an A frame there should be it there's like a pyramid type bracket that comes up here to the top and then there's the light that sits on there but you wouldn't even believe it I don't know if I've shown this before but on this tractor there is a hydraulic unit, actually, and uh, it's operated by this lever here. When you turn your PTO on, the PTO runs, and it runs this, it looks to me to be an aftermarket pump thing in here. I believe that, yeah, it's an aftermarket pump. This piece here should be tight against the back here, but it's not because the original owner put that in there for a hydraulic unit, which actually it works pretty doggone good. Only thing is, is it's kind of slow, but 
what do you expect for the some of the first uh, hydraulic units ever come out with so uh did that oh my lift works the the, the lift actually turns uh the, the pedals are a little sticky but they turn um the old seat was actually welded on here and here you can still kind of see it uh, and then there was a lever welded onto this plate here actually the seat wasn't too hard to knock off i just took my uh blacksmith hammer and hit it and they both fell off so so that way I could put the original an original seat on this thing because that other seat was comfortable yes but not original so I put the original seat get the original dash for it now that dash actually uh, was an eBay pie which I was pretty pretty lucky to get only problem with the dash is it's got a loop right here it broke off but I figured uh, if anything I can just make a make some sort of deal that hooks onto that but um, no, otherwise I got a few dings in my hood or a few holes, you know, nothing, nothing that you don't normally see. But uh, yeah, and then the original, the original, there was a hole originally in here, and I had the, uh, I had to uh, weld that back together. See that from up there. So and then I had to put in a bigger, a big cap for the radiator because it was just a little dingy thing under there. That and uh, oh, the the real pain in the butt was the uh, radiator I've actually bought and put in a new a new radiator inside the old uh, tanks so yeah that's it hopefully I can get that blasted part put back in that track in this tractor and get it running again so so for that that's all there is on that for now